guys, this is Mikey from DeMarco Twins. Today we're going to be opening, building, and reviewing this Harry Potter Clock Tower set. It's $80, so it's a lot of money. It's recommended for ages 9 and up. It's the Hogwarts Clock Tower. It's set 75968, and the part count is 6. I mean, at 600, 922. So it's a big set. It comes with Madame Maxine, Albus Dumbledore, Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Flor Delacour, Ron Weasley, Harry Potter, and Hermione Granger. And on the back, um, on the back, it shows hospital wing on top then on the middle area it shows i'm pretty sure that's another potions classroom and then right there it's the entrance hall the prefix bathroom dumbledore's office with the sword of gryffindor and then the yule ball actual area which is supposed to be in the great hall but they decided to put it into this set for some reason and that's really all the side, all the sides. Yeah, right there it says it's seven, five, nine, eight, four. It says that it's a building toy. Wizarding World, the clock tower on the back though, shows that if I twist the little crank, it will turn the hands on the clock. And then right there, it it shows that if I move a bottom plate, then the couples are going to start spinning. That's confusing. So that's so that's basically clock tower. So I'm going to start building it. I I'm going to see you when I start building it. Okay, I'm going to start building. So, I finished bag one now. This is what it is. It's just the Yule Ball feature. But it's pretty cool because right here, if I turn this, it'll flip it around. The only bad part about this is that you connect these archways, but if you connected if you didn't connect the archways and if you just kept this area then you just have to spin that and it would twist but now we need to spin it like that so in this um spot we made two characters in this bag so i'm going to show you what it would look like in the dancing feature i guess all right i'm going to get them set up right now there. Crumb and Madam Maxine. That's the two we made. So it spins, but um, the while they spin the separate little white tiles, they'll spin with it. And then we have two tables. So got one table and then the other. It's just made out of like food and stuff and drinks, I guess. They never really make it clear what is on this besides the glasses. But you know, um, I made the advent calendar um in December, so and they kept these, and I don't know what they're supposed to be. But next, I'm going to be making um bag number. Two, which, oh, 
that's that's the prefix bathroom and um uh what's uh Dumbledore and Dumbledore's um office. So that's what I'm going to be making next. Right, so now that I've finished building the the ball set with the the spinning it's not spinning. Oh. My vaccine got stuck. There. With the spinning piece. It's pretty fun. But now that finished with that, I'm going to be building the bag two, which is the entire tower. And then the other The other four bags are just with the clock tower. So, bag three, bag six. I. Now this will be bag number two. So I will get started building with that bag so um what i see with that is that since it's the um what's it called prefix bathroom since it comes with the prefix bathroom pretty sure it'll come with the mermaid so now let's get start building it All right, so now that I've finished that, this is it. So if I pop off the U-Bowl, this is it. It's a, I'm going to take the, all the characters that we got, all right? Some of these people are where you would think they would be. Some of they, on the other hand, or not. But it'll just be the easiest way to show you. All right, so there, that's what I got. Got Dumbledore's office right there. There's no real fox, all right? Ah. There's no real fox right there. See, so right there. Right there is fox. There's no Lego fox. There's no Lego fox, which I don't like personally. Like a Lego fox that with its perch right here would be really good, but that's not what is there. Whoa. All right, so now that I finished two out of the one, six, two out of the six, um, I will be putting on a little show, I guess, All right? So. This will be really fun. All right, there. I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll move those out of the way so I can get a bit closer. Still don't know if you will be able to see it very well, but it's hope for the best and hope you can see it. Let's just connect the U ball. I think 
I connected it wrong. Nope. And so from the back. Yep, I connected it wrong. Pop, pop. Yeah, definitely connected it wrong. There. Right? I will now be putting on this show. Alright. I got Crumb, Floor, and then Madame Maxine with Albus. Right? So, hey, we should go dance. Sure. Sure. There. Hey, we should go dance with them. Okay, let me get up for a second. Which that does not happen. And let's just pretend that it didn't happen. So that's what I got of bags number one. Well, of bags number one and number two. Pretty fun, right? So, next I'll be making. One second. That is not quite right, but next, next I'll be making bag number three. All right, so I finished bag three, so I'm halfway through. Um, I'm going to connect Dumbledore's office and the U-Ball part, so right. There. I think that's right. Yeah, that's it is. Right. This is hard to get in. Uh. This is very hard. So, I don't know why this is tricky. It's probably, all right, there. So, now that I have this, I'm going to set the characters out with their wands. So, in that bag, I got Cedric Diggory and Ron Weasley. And it came with the entrance hall, like there's the Great Hall. I never really realized about the entrance hall. It's not mentioned that much in the movie. Or, or books. But, here is what it did with Cedric. And then... Ron. Um, there's his new legs. 
that Ron has. So it's the short legs, but they're bendy. Normally, see Cedric Diggory's legs are a lot longer. So his would bend, but these would just stay still. They wouldn't be able to bend, but they made them, so now they can bend. So he can sit down. It's come so far. It has, we have Cedric, Ron, Madame Maxine, Fleur Delacour, Victor Crumb, and Albus Dumbledore. Has the entrance hall, Dumbledore's office, the prefix bathroom, and the Yule Ball scene. Just for convenience storage, I put the tables up there, so I'm going to put these down. So then I'm going to put all these characters where they would probably be in the movie. So, please along there. I mean, there's like places it would be or something. See, I'm pairing up Floor Delacour with um, Ron Weasley, which doesn't happen in the movies or the book, but I'm just going to do this because, I don't know, there's really no point of, of me doing this, but I decided I'm going to do that, then I'll place... How about Madame Maxine with Albus Dumbledore? Alright. So then, right there. So then, with the turn in piece. So, so that is what we have of Hogwarts Great Tower. Great tower, so. Right. so now that we've finished with that part, let me get this here. Now that we're finished with that part, we have bag, bag four. Bag four is Page 74 to 110. So, we're going to be doing that. Ugh. But before I do that, I just want to show you this. Because this is amazing. The best, I might have told you. I know I've told you this before, but these are module boats, so they can connect together and disconnect. So, great entrance hall, not great hall. Prefix bathroom with Dumbledore's office. Your bowl area. So, it's really cool, but... I wanted, I'm just going to put this right here, reconnect it, and then I'm going to tell you about more about the module builds, and then I'll get started building. Right, how does that sound? All right. So, the good part about module builds is that we can not only 
connect the castle pieces together, but we can also um, connect it with other castle pieces. You probably already knew that, but so clock tower that can be connected to Great Hall, the uh, Whomping Willow set, Astronomy Tower. It can even be connected to the Room of Requirement, which you wouldn't think because it's not really a castle piece, it's just a room. But it's made by the same module builds, which is pretty cool. And also, Diagon Alley is module build. It has four shops, but with, well, four module buildings, but with Diagon Alley being a module shop, it's really fun because then you could connect the Hogwarts castle to Diagon Alley. Like in the middle of all the shops or next to the shop. I don't know. It would be really fun. But right now, I guess I'll start building bag number four, which seems like a potions classroom. Another one. Kids in my head there. But another potions classroom. Another, another potions thing. Maybe thinking, well, what's so surprising about that? There's only one potions thing in the entire clock tower. It's not so surprising that it's on the clock tower, but it's there's three different times on the Whopping Willow set by itself. The Whomping Willow set has storage room for potions, Snape's office, um, the potions classroom. So we got another potions area. So that'll be fun, but right now I'll get started building bag four of the clock tower, all right? Alright, so I'm sorry for saying that this was a potions classroom because I was, get over here, wrong. It's not a potions classroom. It's actually defense against the dark arts classroom. But I know that from one piece. This. It says moody which obviously means Mad-Eye Moody, which was the first, I mean, Harry's fourth defense against the dark arts teacher. And it also says unforgivable with a spider at the edge right here, which if you've seen the movie, the... He teaches them all about the unforgivable curses and he does the unforgivable curses on on spiders. So the bad part is that they always have the same book. So this would obviously be Guardium Leviosa, which is a charms charm, which would be a charms classroom book. They decided to put it in Defense Against the Dark Arts. So it doesn't really make much sense. Uh, I'm confused what this is. It might be the jar for the spiders. So the so right here and then obviously desk oh dang it um desk chair i don't know what would 
Oh, that is all the weird um, things that he keeps in his office. So that one would be the faux glass, I think it's called. <laughs> no, I don't know, but. So that's bag four of the clock tower. The, the, um, ah, what's here? I got it. What's this? Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. So that's bag four, Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom of the Clock Tower. I'm going to next do bag number five. I know five. See, I'm confused because we need two bags for the third story. It doesn't make much sense when this was one. You may be thinking, how did it take you that long just to make this? The outside took a long time. The inside, I don't know why that's all weird like that, but the inside was super easy. But that was bag four of the collector. So next I'm going to be building bag five. So, now that I've finished bag number five, which is this area. So, that, it comes with the hospital wing, which I thought was on the first floor. Hmm. Well, it got the clock actual part. Right there, it's supposed to have... Like right on the box, it shows a smaller clock. I don't know if you can see that, but it shows a smaller clock next to the big clock. So that's supposed to go there. But it's a pretty cool bag. Right here, if I turn this. I'm just turning it, but I'm going to flip it to this side. And then I'm turning it. Look at the hands, the clock. Cool. So, that's what bag number five is. Bag number six. Um. We finish the roof and we make a Christmas tree because this obviously took place during Christmas. So, in the, what you, when you got it, you got this extra bag, right, that had um, the hands up in it. But I'm going to show you what it is in that bag, because it's kind of funny. A drill, a hammer, a wrench, what Lego normally uses for the snip things. Actually, this didn't come in the bag, but I'm just counting it, I guess. This, don't know what this is. No, this is a wrench. And what are those? Oh, all right, so if this is a wrench, then what's this? It looks like a wrench. And then we have a screwdriver and um, 
an oil can. And apparently those were supposed to help us to open, oh, to open, I mean to place the hand, I think. It's really confusing. But we got Harry and his um outfit. Well, um, this exact Harry was in the uh, 2021 calendar. So, it's nothing new. Same thing with the Hermione and the Ron. Maybe the Hermione is different this time, but same thing with the uh, Ron. So, this is what we got so far. So, Harry... Um, I guess would dance with, well, Harry would dance with one of the Patel twins, but since they're not there, we're going to place, um, one of the Patel twins with Dumbledore. And then, got the spinning platform. Um, I'm guessing this is parchment on the desk. But it's just made uh, up of the up of a cone shape and basically the color that the entire castle was made out of. See? It's like it blends in. I'm guessing it's supposed to be parchment. So I'm going to show you Harry, since he was the only min uh, mini character that we've got in this bag. So, he's got the bendy legs, which I showed you with Ron, that how they're short and they normally wouldn't bend. And then his um, top, with well, his shirt, which is... The same shirt that was in the other Yule Ball set, which was the um, advent calendar for 2021. No, not for 2021, 2020, because then the next year would have been 2021. And then his back, he has a bit of wrinkles. Then his hair. His scar is super small. I, I'm pretty sure it's not that small on any of the other Harrys, except the Harrys with this face. You can barely see the scar. It looks like the scar is not even there. But that, oh, and they got the hospital wing with these lights, with the little beds, but... That is basically it for bag five. No stickers came with this bag. The, the best thing that was in here were the many tools, in my opinion, because they're just so funny. But that is bag number five of the Hogwarts Clock Tower. Oh, maybe you can't see the box. Oh, yep. There, the Hogwarts clock tower. So, next time, I'll build bag number six. Right. I just can't get over how there's these. A drill. But, that's it for bag number five. So, I forgot to press the record button when I built the last, um, the last the last bag but I finished it so remember with the spinny part so normally I will give you a tour well that's what I would do but there's nothing to tour because I showed it all to you already but it's a pretty cool set Hmm. Comes with the chest and the goblet of fire. 
the little sword. But I highly wish that they added the the um, fox. They added. I really wish they added fox. But overall, this is pretty cool. It's, it comes one fell out. Right, I'm gonna show it to you. All right. So number one, this part. I'm gonna go bag by bag. I can't remember the characters that came in each bag, but I'm just gonna go the actual building part. So. First bag, a little ball scene. Not the coolest part. I realized that when I build it, if I just spun the top, then it would already go. But it's pretty cool. Next bag. This one. This one, I felt like it should have been split up into two bags and i felt but also i felt that this should be these two floors should be one set and it and it didn't make sense that these two bags were one set because remember the roof was its own set oh its own bag i should i should say but Part two, it comes with the prefix bathroom with the uh, mermaid. It, you could just push. And it's like a sliding glass door or something. This is like a little door. The picture frame. And then you got Dumbledore's office. Dumbledore sitting with, oh, with his pensive... And then the portraits around, and then the sort of Gryffindor. And then the next bags were, well, number one. I'm going to do it by four because it would be pretty boring if I told you just the roof as its own set. But first floor, nothing much, just a chest. Um, like, entry mat. This is the entrance hall. And then the Goblet of Fire. But the outside isn't elaborate, but this w definitely took a long time to make. And then floor two. Um, Mad-Eye Moody's Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. So, I have a book. I'm guessing that's where the spider would have gone. Got a book there, a seat there. Um, I'm pretty sure this member in the movie and in the book, I can't remember if this was in the book or not, but in the movie, he had a bunch of things that told him if a bad person was nearby. And it's the same block that the, it's the same actual, the, Circular white clear piece is the same part they use for the pensive. And then got, this is how I knew it was a defense against the dark arts classroom. Because remember, I thought it was the um, potions classroom. Moody. Just the word moody. And then next one. This one, I think, this bag or this bag. My favorite set. Well, my favorite bag. So, got the hospital wing, two lamps, curtains, I guess, and then here in this bed, Ron in that bed, and then I'm gonna keep on twisting it, and then, well, I can't twist it now, but now I'm twisting it. Oh, did something break? Yeah. There, fix it. What broke was. This part, it popped off, so it was just dangling. 
But that rat that now I'm finished with that set. So come back for another awesome video on DeMarco Twins. Bye.